I finally was able to pick up some stuff from Funko HQ. So let's roll the intro and get into what I picked up. Welcome all my fellow nerds and geeks. That is right, uh, they kind of, ha Funko's kind of open. They have a curbside pickup option available. Uh, so I got really lucky though. Some of the pops that sold out online, they actually have them in stock at Funko HQ. So you just uh, send them an email. It took a few days. It, it took quite a few days, but there's a lot going on. So, uh, Everyone just said to be patient. Eventually I got an email saying they had them. Um, I'll get to those in a minute, but I've got some other stuff to get through before I get to those. So I'm gonna do my video today because my anniversary is on Monday and I don't think I'm gonna do a video on Monday like I normally do, well, I've been trying to do. Um, and I have some stuff, so. Um, so I was able to pick up a few different pins um, some from friends, some from drops, some from, uh, some of the Funko groups I'm a part of. Well, one of the Funko groups I'm a part of, but my buddy, Chris, who has been kind of getting out of the pins and stuff. Uh, he was the one that kind of got me into the tiny ghosts. Uh, when I first met him, he was collecting every single one of them. He has since kind of gotten out of tiny ghosts, but he was the one that kind of showed them to me and I kept seeing them in his collection. I was like, man, those things are kind of cool. And then I, eventually bought one and then I bought a bunch more. But uh, he had this guy, which I missed this pin. I wanna say it was like a New York Comic Con exclusive. I'm not 100% on that. But it uh, it is the Chomp Glow in the Dark. It matches the blue Chomp I have here that uh, as far as the Glow in the Dark and it's got the skeleton theme, which if you've noticed, I like the skeleton theme stuff. So um, I will show you guys the glow it goes along with it. It's it's really bright. So um, thank you very much, Chris. And this is a limited of 200, and uh, this is 74. So yeah, definitely excited that I was able to pick this up. It will look awesome with the rest of my pins. So then, um, I <laughs> so I shot a couple videos and I posted one of them and I'm not sure. So if I duplicate any of this stuff from another video, I apologize now. I hope I didn't, but, um, so this is the last tiny ghost pins that dropped from, uh, I just really liked the, like the sepia tone and the design on it. So I went ahead and picked those up, uh, to go along my collection. Like I said, I don't know if I already showed these or not. It's, it's been crazy, man. Everything's so crazy. So this is something I know that I haven't shown yet, and um, today is actually their pin check day. So I will be posting a picture of these with something else that I picked up. Um, but I went ahead and picked up three. I'll just show you two because two are the same. Um, so this is the one of the Funko groups I'm a part of, and this is the Funko Collector Society. And I've got a lot of friends that watch this channel that are part of it. And uh, a lot of people that I watch that were part of it. That's kind of how I learned about it. And so I got, like I said, I got two of the, I've got three of them. Two of this one and one of this one. Cause this is actually the chase. And this one glows in the dark and it is really, really cool. I do, I actually kind of like how big they are. They are a lot bigger than most other pins, which I actually really dig. So um, I'm a big fan of the bigger pins, even though I've got so many that it's crazy. But uh, like I said, I will post a picture of the glow up there on that. It looks really cool though. And I've got another one, but it's just the same as the, it's just, um, I picked up three so that I was guaranteed to get the glow in the dark one. So then moving right along, I know there's a few people that said that they wanted me to show off more of the steel books that I got. And this one is a new one that came out and this is Jaws. This is uh, the 4K release from Best Buy. And this is a movie growing up that I used to watch a ton. I actually have not seen it in a long time. But when I saw it come out, it was like on sale, it wasn't too bad. So I went ahead and picked it up being Steelbook and I knew that it was something that I wanted to watch. And with these Steelbooks, like I said, they always come with like a piece of paper on there. So you can see the front and the back. And there's always really cool like designs and stuff on the inside. 
So then moving right along, I actually picked up something yesterday that makes the dog go crazy. And I saw it, I was, yeah, <laughs> I'm just gonna show it. It is the child, it is the plush. Uh, the packaging looks really cool, I like how they did that, but I just, I really like the way they did the face on it. It does make the dog go crazy sometimes. He's been okay lately, but, uh, so it's just basically a plush on the bottom and then it's like a soft plastic head, but the sculpting on there and the way they did the eyes just looks really, really good. So, and if you follow me on Instagram, you'd have seen that I posted a picture of it up yesterday with uh, the Yoda pop. So it does kind of stand as long as you kind of set it the right way, he'll stand up. He probably will fall as I'm doing this video though. So then I went to Everett Comics after I went to Funko today and picked up the last two in the He-Man set that I needed. And that is the, these two here, I'm about to drop it. I almost dropped it. Um, <laughs> so we have got the uh, Sky Clone and Tongue Lasher. So uh, I am actually going to pull so the Cyclone's pretty plain. I probably won't pull that one out this video, but um, I do want to pull out the Tongue Lasher. A lot of people who said who have picked it up that it is they did really good on the details of it. Um, and like I said in my last video where I talked about the He-Man stuff, is there's a lot of the bad guys for He-Man versus the good guys. So this is yet again, this is one of the bad guys. All of, I've got one good guy and one bad guy this time, but it is very lopsided when it comes to those. So, yeah, this looks really cool. They did a really good job. I don't think I actually owned this action figure when I was younger. I owned some of the snake people because there's quite a few different ones, but I don't think I had this one. So, definitely looks really cool, though. And then to get on to the actual Funko stuff that I got. So, when you call in, they put your name on the bag and say, you know, what time you're going to go pick it up and all that stuff. So, like I said, these are two that sold out online. One of them, I actually was totally shocked it, so it sold out. Um, and the other one actually took a few hours, but I figured um, I wouldn't have to rush on it because it's one that a lot of times doesn't, I mean, these, these, this line does not sell out, but I collect it, so I wasn't too worried about it. It is the Spastic Plastic slash, uh, I just, Fantastic Plastic, yeah. So they still, same, like I said, they still have the Spastic Plastic on there. I don't know when they're gonna change that, but, uh, so this is the, TJ in the black color. A lot of people thought that it might glow in the dark, but since this got released, we have seen it and it does not. But I guess under a black light, it looks really cool because of the colors they chose for it. So. I just like the, the Day of the Dead look that it has. So it just looks really cool. It'll go good with a lot of the other ones that I have, so. And then the main one, I was actually pretty upset that it sold out because I I was on there a, literally a minute after it went live and it was gone. And it is the six inch Kraken. So it goes with the myth line. So this makes it to where I'm only missing the one, which is the glow in the dark Loch Ness from Emerald City, which is one that I probably won't get anytime soon. So you can get kind of an idea in here, but the big thing with this one is it's the first six inch in the line. And the paint job on this is really, really cool. The first picture we saw of it was someone was holding it in an interview or something like that. So you couldn't really see the uh, the paint job on it. And since it has been out for a little bit and a few people have already picked it up, you can see it's got a really cool kind of metallic pearlescent paint job. I was really happy that Funko had them in stock. So here it is. It's gonna be kinda of hard in the video to see, but it does have a really cool pearlescent shine to it. You can see he's holding a little ship there. So. But they definitely did a really good job on this one. And like I said, this sold out in less than a minute because I was on there pretty much a minute after it went live and it was gone. So um, a lot of pops though. They have an allotment to go to Hollywood store and to go to the Everett store and because uh, they've been closed down, now they're doing the curbside, so they still get their allotment and they just have been sitting on it. So there are a lot of the pops that sold out online that you are able to pick up curbside for Hollywood and 
for Everett, the Funko HQ. So if there is something you missed and you're local to one of those areas, you can shoot them an email. You go to their website, they've got an email on there and it'll tell you right how to do it. And they'll, like I said, it, takes a, it took a couple days for me to get an email, but I did eventually get an email. So that is it for this video. I would like to say thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, you can follow me on Instagram at Nerdsmithing. And as always, don't forget to stay awesome, people.